pretty chilly today but we made it to oh <laughs> you okay yeah but we made it to a castle in potsdam it's called the sansusi castle oh wow this looks really nice sansusi castle the sansusi also means without a care is a well-known palace here in uh, potsdam so these are the other castles that are in the area as well or well, not really castles okay. but just things you can see and do uh, this is uh, where the, the schloss this is what you see in the entryway into sansusi park that we came here and the weather is like this from up here this is what you can see how beautiful It's so pretty here and you have so many people taking pictures and right now we're just walking down to the pond which I showed you it's right down there I'm actually going to insert right here the kind of um, picture that I want to take which I've seen multiple people taking as well but I'm going to try to achieve that so we came at the right time I think if you come during winter um, when there are no trees it definitely looks different you have these walls which have glass doors this is everybody by the way. I haven't shown everybody in the vlog. It's known for its huge vineyards, well-preserved 18th century interior and grand designs. It was built by the King of Prussia as his summer home and his dying wish was to be able to be buried here. I want to say we've taken a tour because we really didn't go in and this is all that there is to San Susi from the outside. We got down the stairs, the stairs which I showed you, came down to the pond which I showed you here as well and now we are going to the next castle which is visible right over there if you can see it I do not know what castle we are going to as in I don't know what is in front of us but when we get there you're going to find out we looked around and the first visible thing was that one so that's why we're going in that direction Yeah. Oh, it's part of San Jose. Mm -hmm. It's, it's probably the cast house. What is this plant? Do you know what this? Plant? Yes. It's a, a cherish. Ah, it's cherries. Yeah, I can see them, but I don't know what I didn't know what it was. There's nobody here. We, well, that's not true. There are way fewer people here. Well, everybody else is at the other popular sites. And the walking continues to the next castle. See you at the next one.
They had the same entryway kind of thing at the Belvedere Castle. Look at my hands. <laughs> Honestly, it's so pretty with all of the flowers and the palm leaves as well. The sun is coming up as well, which is such a good thing because I actually put on this pullover and I brought a cardigan with me which is absolutely not ideal in the middle of summer so I'm happy that the sun is coming out From the other castle to this castle we walked for about I think 10 minutes and when you climb the stairs you come up to this open space and it's nice that the bus actually comes here because overwhelming I'm trying to I'm trying to enjoy the space and also vlog at the same time but we have made it to the Orangen Orangen castle I think Schloss and um, yeah we just got up here Joachim is somewhere I'm going to catch up with him when I'm done but basically when you get up the stairs like I showed you you come up to a view which has like a huge pond in the, wait, you come up to a view that has a huge pond in the middle and then there are people sitting around, I mean it's quite green, it looks very very beautiful and um, the castle which we came to look at is right behind me right here uh, there are actually three castles if I'm not mistaken so there's one behind here, there's one behind me and there's one on the other side right there so I'm not exactly sure how it was structured, why it was structured the way it was structured but obviously I'm going to do some research as I do the voiceover for this vlog so that you also get an idea of what the castle is about, when it was built and um, some back story about it as well Let's take a tour I do not know where they are, I have lost them I'm literally just going at my pace at the moment So this is what it looks like Let's check out the inside
just as we were exiting the castle grounds, we came across these statues. And I remember standing there and just looking at them thinking, I'm sorry you had to go through this. This might be my relative who has been put up there to look subjective to the other white people. As you can see, both black people are looking towards the white person and the white person is looking straight ahead. The statues are named this. I'm going to put the name on the screen. The name is deemed discriminatory and racist to people of darker skin colors. Susan Arndt states that the Moor is the oldest German word for black people and originates from the Greek word this, which means foolish, naive, stupid or godless. There have been requests by Andreas Mentel demanding a name change of the sculptures, but his request was denied. I could not find a lot of information online about the slaves in this palace, but I have linked some articles below if you are interested in finding out more.